All right, another old school, one of my favorite. It's a female MMA fighter versus a male MMA fighter who's clearly bigger than her. He's definitely a trained Muay Thai fighter. He's got some good movement. She takes him down. And in a street self-defense situation, I don't recommend it, but she mounts him. He's clearly a stand-up fighter only because he doesn't know what to do here. And she's an MMA fighter. And uh, it's an old school video where there's no rules. She's headbutting him, uh, elbowing from top. She goes to side control. She goes back into mount again. And then she throws up a beautiful armbar and taps him out. Now, my point with this video is not that you should go and take on a male versus female. I'm surprised that he would take the fight, in my opinion. Uh, he has absolutely nothing to gain of, of from that fight. I would never have done it. But um, the point is, she beats him. She's smaller than him. He's a, he's a trained fighter too. And a lot of times when, when I talk about these things, someone says, oh, but she's trained. Of course, you can only get good at anything by training. That's the whole point of this. I want you to start training. I want you to learn some basic street self-defense. You don't have to become a professional MMA fighter where you can take on guys and fight them. But it takes very little in the street to be able to just walk away from a situation, which is ultimately what you want. So, um, you know, when it comes to the strategy here, she's clearly a better ground fight and she takes him down. I, I wouldn't recommend a, a female to take a male down in a street self-defense situation for the most part, because most attacks on women are sexual assault attacks. So the last place you want to go is to the ground. But the point is a female can very easily beat a guy with very little training. So get going, start training. Share this with the loved ones.